hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. Welcome to another past HTC exam question videos. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to cover this exam question, which comes from the biotechnology chapter. What I'll do in a second, I'll actually read the question. Once I read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question and press play when you're ready. And I'll go over the actual answer itself. So this is the question. Use an example of a named transgenic species to discuss the social and environmental impact of this technology. And that's worth five marks. So when you're ready, press pause and attempt the question. Right, welcome back. So for this question, it's worth five marks. So it's worth a decent chunk of marks. And what you should do is obviously you need to have a named example of a transgenic species. So I took two examples. I took the BT cotton and the goat, which has a human gene injected into it. So then I had to use that to discuss the social and environmental impact. So I had just some general discussions on some of the pros and cons when it comes to social impact and environmental impact. And I also did it, I specifically brought it back to the examples. So general, but also specific examples, because that's what we're asked to do. Right, so what I wrote first is, a transgenic species are produced by inserting genetic information from one species into another one to produce a genetic hybrid. So here, we, this is just quickly saying what a transgenic species is. Next step is, and then the, this is the example, one of the examples. For example, a gene from a BT bacteria is inserted, inserted into the DNA of a cotton is inserted in the DNA of cotton and other plant crops to give the plant properties that make it resistant to pests. So by inserting this Bt bacteria gene into a plant, the plant itself becomes resistant to pests. And the other example I gave was, another example is the ATYRN gene, it's supposed to be gene, that produces antithrombin. So it produces antithrombin. That was transferred from human DNA to goat DNA. So we it's a transgenic species because the goat itself will have its DNA and some human DNA. This allowed the goat to produce antithrombin in their milk that could then be drunk by individuals that lack the ability to make antithrombin, which is important for clots to be removed. And so here I've just quickly stated two examples of transgenic species and what benefits they have. And now I tie all of that in to the social and environmental impact of making transgenic species. So the above examples have a positive social impact. They have a positive social impact as they provide humans with products that they require. So we mentioned, you know, the food, which is pest resistant, and the antithrombin in the milk. These are products we require. And these products can often be made in a cheaper way with the use of transgenic species. Not only can we make them, but we can make them even cheaper than we would otherwise can. Right, so these are some of the benefits of the social impacts of this technology, the positive social impacts. And now I'll go into some of the negative ones. There's a lot of debate about the negative consequences of transgenic species, which include a loss of bio and genetic diversity. So that's one of the negative parts, especially when it comes to the environmental impact. There's also a question raised whether or not it is morally right to tamper with nature. So you know, or do we have the right to, to change nature? and change the DNA traits of animals for the sake of human benefit. So in this case, all we're doing is we're making, giving a genes which will benefit us because we get more products for a cheaper price. And obviously the negative consequence would be, is that, is that morally right? Social, that social impact, no, is it morally right? Should we, should we be allowed to do that? So in this case, we get marks for talking about the two examples. And I mean, we only get one mark because it's only asked for one example. But then also just going through these benefits and negatives, so two benefits, two negative consequences, and somehow tying that back to the example, right? So I said, for example, you know, these, these products that were produced by the bacteria and the goat is what we need. So that's how I tied the example here to the statement below. So the positive social impacts managed to tie that to the example, and that's what you should have tried to do. You should have tried to tie the, your arguments the for and against to the example you gave. 
and that would be worth your five marks. So you get five marks or five for that. And where they come from, they came from these dot points. Discuss the, the potential impact of the use of reproductive technologies on the genetic diversity of species using named examples of a plant and animal that have been genetically altered. All right, so this could be your named transgenic species. And students will analyze information from signature sources to identify examples and the uses of transgenic species. Again, that's the dot point. And use available evidence to debate the ethical issues arising from the development and use of transgenic species. That was the other part. So we named one and then we talked about the negative and positive consequences. That was from this dot point. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.